What's going on you guys, it's your boy Blazinary here and today in this video I'm showing you a 33 pair collection that I bought out for this amount. I'm gonna put it on the screen because I gotta do the edits. There's some insane pairs in here ranging from all different sizes, kids to size 16. Yo Shaq, are you watching the video right now? I need you to buy these. I was able to also get a holy grail of sneakers which I'm gonna show later on throughout the video so you're gonna have to see which holy grail I'm talking about but you can kind of see behind me the stack. There's 33 boxes individually, uh, so we're just gonna jump right into it and start the video. Now, I plan to make this a weekly series because I've taken a serious, serious hobby back in my store. If you guys didn't know, I've been a sneaker reseller for the last probably close to 10 years at this point. I started in middle school where I was starting with literally half cent phone posits, Kobe's and LeBron's, cleaning them, buying different pairs off of Facebook market groups, and I would take those to sneaker conventions, and eventually I started an online business, which I promoted, of course, through my YouTube. If you go look on blazinary.com right now, it's currently undergoing construction because I plan to continue getting mass amounts of inventory and creating a new selling channel, and we're gonna be putting up some high quality merch. So stay tuned to the store page if you wanna learn a little bit about what's gonna happen with blazinary.com, it's gonna be pretty exciting. And of course, over the last, I don't know how many months I've been working on my business, and every Everything that happens within my business, it's very important for me to make sure I've got my eyes on it. So I'm trying to get this posting schedule back. And I think this series is gonna be a good way to start because we're buying shoes like absolutely crazy. And this first one, wow, we're gonna start the video off with an absolute heater. Right here we have the Danny Supa SB Nike Dunk High. This is actually gonna be a re-release of a very popular model back in 2005, which was a low top. And this is a size nine and a half. I think one of the cool things about this shoe is of course, not only resembling a NYX colorway, it's also a pair that you don't see very often. I don't think I've seen really anybody on my feed rock these on their feet. So if you own these, it's most likely gonna be a pair that's gonna be in the higher resale range of about 250 plus. So definitely some good value on these. And I don't think this is the OG box. So I think this is just a replacement box. Definitely not a bad first shoe to start with. And so you guys are gonna see tons of different inventory. If you guys are even wondering where I am right now, I'm in my base. So this is my basement where I'm just going live selling shoes on my whatnot. You guys can check it out I have a link down below in the description. We do a stream every Wednesday selling insane heat like these So we're actually gonna take these teal CMFT dunks. These came out in 2015 We're gonna clean them up and we're gonna get them sold, you know, give them some good stuffing wipe down the bottoms Another thing you guys will notice is that I'm buying a lot of the same pair and or just multiple sizes of it Because chances are if one person likes it, so does a lot of other people and I think it's important that you have every size for all your customers when you're trying to sell on a shop. I don't know if there's gonna be any personals in these videos. I think chances are you might see like one or two personals for the video just because if I look at it, I'm like, mm, okay, maybe I want that one. Oh wow, this, this box is impossible to get open. What's going on here? Oh, these old Nike boxes are super exciting because you never actually know what shoes you're gonna get when you have this. It could be a dunk, it could be like a hyper dunk, an old Air Force. Let's see what we got. Ooh, it was an old Air Force. So these are gonna be the Air Force One Low Sheed. And if you guys notice, it's not a jump man on the side of that. I turn off a light so you could really tell the shimmer and shine that's on there. It's patent leather. It's absolutely gorgeous. What I love about this pair is that it's got most of the stars, except that it's got like a little sticker on there. So I don't know what's going on there. And it's definitely big USA vibes with the red, white, and blue. And they're just gonna go on the back here. We'll go ahead and get some B-roll of those and clean them up. I think we paid around like a hundred bucks for those. Do you think those were a good buy or not? All right, next up, we have another red Nike box. This is some of my favorite to get in the mail because so many different varieties. It could be new dunks, old dunks, red Octobers. In fact, I was actually right. These are red Octobers, not the easy two. The Red October Dunk, size nine, very cool. We're gonna take that tag off and uh, get them sold. 2015 Nike Dunk Red October. All right, what could be in this box? Let's go ahead and see here. All right, it's gonna be another one of these old Air Force or Dunk boxes. It's gonna be a LeBron Premium Air Force. Check these out in a size eight, patent leather on them. These LeBron Air Forces are insane because they feature some of the most non-used Nike materials in history at this point. The Eclair Mesh, which got discontinued in the late 2000s. Patent leather on the top, which you really never see in an Air Force. And you've also got some really premium additional add-ons like this keychain, which I mean, they're just not selling this kind of stuff anymore when you're buying an Air Force. These are a size eight, and I think these are actually 
Whoa, they're DS. Let's go. We got a DS pair, size 8. Love to see it. This is probably going to be the cleanest one you'll see of these in our collection today. I think the only problem is that one of the sides has yellowed over the years and the other one has not. Most likely, maybe this was the display one. Well, this is going to be easy. This is going to be another pair of the Nike Dunk red october this is a great shoe i'm buying them as much as i can because i think the kanye documentary that comes out will make the price of these really jump in value it's one of the only authorized red october colorways after the depart of kanye i don't know if they're gonna drop anything like this unless he goes back to nike which y'all think that's gonna happen it's definitely gonna be a big box shoe another red nike box some tape on it but ooh, that doesn't stop me from grabbing the pinnacles Check these out. Wow, I have not seen a Pinnacle Jordan 1 in a very long time. I remember actually getting these. Uh, the problem with them was they were a little used. I think all we need to do there is scrub the bottoms and the floor price is about maybe like 400 bucks for these. I think I couldn't have paid no more than 250. So we'll get them cleaned up, maybe sell them for like 320 or something like that. We gotta knock out some of these priority mailers. Oh, I need a new knife. Okay, this is gonna be another pair of the LeBron Air Forces. Much bigger size 12. I'm definitely going to hold on to some of these for when LeBron retires. I don't know. It's a speculative play. Another little box. I hope you enjoy the premium Air Force LeBrons. Let me know if you have any questions. Question is, where's the OG box, fam? Definitely going to be one of the more used pairs in our arsenal. All right, let's see. We got... Oh, man. I know y'all going to love these. <laughs> Another pair. Smaller pair. This one's a size 9. We definitely need more variety. Except with this one, you guys got to watch out when you're buying some used pairs. I'll give you some pointers here. The suede. Check out that suede. I think I got this pair for the low low, so I'm not too worried about it. But just notice uh, the condition. You have to be mindful that this is aged, faded, and just a little not pristine. That's okay, though. Any guesses on what this could be? Air Force or Jordan? Wow, was I wrong? Okay, well, this was a rep jordan box but right here we have a pair of raptors oh goodness another issue is somebody's uh socks are shoved inside there that's pretty nasty and there's no insoles so it looks like we're going to be running to walgreens grabbing the good old dr shoals uh these are an 11 and a half so once again just another big size i know our big sizes guys will love these how do you think drake feels about the rihanna and asap rocky situation i think that man's hurting right now Whoa, we have not seen, we have not seen, ladies and gentlemen, a Yeezy pop up on the scene in quite a minute now. This is going to be a 380. These are the Calcite Glow Yeezy 380. Now, I have not purchased any Yeezys as of recently, not even at retail, just not even going for them like I used to. Let me try and get the lights down a little bit on this pair. What I really like about it is the upper. I think it's definitely interesting and going a new direction for this bottom. Oof, I don't know. It looks like a basketball shoe almost. Is that the purpose of these? Is that a basketball shoe? Or do they already make a Yeezy basketball shoe? Now, let's give these a peek. I'm not sure what we got. I can tell you this. I'm going to be happy. It's a Jordan 1. We're actually getting some variety here, ladies and gentlemen. The metallic red Jordan 1. This is probably by far top 10 Air Jordan 1s for me of all time just because it honors a 1985 pack of Jordans that came out. The Skittles pack. They had the red, the orange, the green, the blue, the purple. And they re retro these, I believe, in 2016. The pair that I got is in actually amazing condition. Definitely part of the steel that we got, guys. Look at those bottoms. I mean, all the stars are there. Now, what's your take on used shoes? Would you wear a used shoe like this? Because I know DS is going for like 500 plus, and a used pair is probably 300. But you're going to wear the shoe in like this, anyways. Is 200 bucks worth a couple wears? Let me know in the comments down below. How do you feel on new versus used? Personally, I'll buy used all day if the deal is good. Throw a little bit of Lysol in there, you know what I'm saying? And I actually got to give the seller props for this, putting a little sticker of what that is. If you have massive collections and boxes of just the same box over and over and over, having that little sticker is really helpful. So I might have to invest in that. And I'm sure you guys are like, well, Blaze, why is your shelves all empty in the first place? Well, guys, like I said, I have been selling so much of some of my big long-term holds. Just things like Supreme pieces that were DS for like four years. I think the market for Supreme is sort of dying down and I think it will over the next couple of years. So it's best for me to go ahead and take things that I don't like to wear or have in my collection and liquidate it. So getting all that cash enables me to buy a bunch of new pairs to sell and that's what we're doing right here. 
I think though, actually, this was a present to myself. This was a late Christmas present for myself, guys, because we have a purple top Nike box, Nike SB, size 10. I gotta add this into the collection, and I know I bought this purposely for myself because I bought them for resale, all right? We bought, we paid the high on them. We paid close to 600 bucks for them. Definitely paid the high. I had to get them though. Oh, and just an absolutely gorgeous shoe right here. We have the Nike SB Dunk High Money Cat. Now, this is a pair I've been wanting to add into my collection for so many years. And just the problem that I've had with the Money Cats is every time I want to buy a pair, they're cooked. There's scuffing and scratches all over the pairs that I want to buy at used prices. And for paying, you know, a couple extra hundred, I'd rather get a pair that's 10 years old, brand new, and then wear it in myself. I know a first wear with these is going to be a little tough because I'm going to be like, I can't believe I'm going to wear the Money Cats. I mean, just look at the bottom. Just they're such great shoes. Love the attention to detail, the stitching, the metallic gold, the back emblem, the tongue logo. Quite honestly, my favorite dunk, top five favorite dunks for me for sure. And just even that insole is really something with the cat on there. I love that detail. Gotta say though, I am a huge cat fan. I did just get my cats tattooed on me today. What do you guys think of the money cat? Would you pay $600 for one of your grails if it was the money cats? Let me know. Definitely going straight to the personal. Man, I have not seen a crisp SB dunk that's DS like this in some time. Wow. Man, I miss getting back into the sneakerhead stuff, y'all. I've been doing a lot of sneaker pickups. I mean, at sneaker cons, some big cash outs. If you guys haven't seen any of those cash outs, I definitely suggest you go tune in and peep because we are blowing racks at sneaker con. And you're looking at the deals too. Like you can really tell how I'm going about it, how I'm talking to sellers and i think that's all part of the game right same thing for when you're buying out big lots of shoes right uh and we have right here yet another pair of the air force lebrons just literally can't get enough of these i like i said i'm trying to get full size ones of some stuff this one even has the original price tag which was uh 89 and i know those won't be some of the only old air forces guys because there's hundreds and thousands of different styles of air forces I had to grab a quick eight and a half little re-up on these because we had sold all of our pairs on our streams what can i say we definitely went hard on these this is size nine and a half and they're very very clean the personal air force collector in me says keep them the brain in me says get a full size one for the store tough decision to make there hey i think we uh went on a roll with these no another pair i don't i don't even think this is the biggest one that we have though this is a size 13 of the premium air force lebron i'm telling you we're gonna find that 16. That 16's in here somewhere. All right, right here we got a pretty cool pair of dunks. Uh, a pair that you definitely do not get to see often. But you guys can see pretty clearly on the camera. It's like a grid pattern. Uh, the inside, there's the bottom. They almost look like they're DS. I'd almost say they are DS. They feel like canvas. That's gotta be what they are. All right, well, let's get into it. It's only, whoa! Hey, yo, we got a pair of the premiums that's actually not a LeBron this time. This one is the, uh, I think it's a soccer version. Sort of soccer Air Force. Uh, literally, actually on the insole, it even says 1950. Oh, that's gonna be tough to get on camera. Now to keep it a buck with you, I don't know what they go for. No idea. But... All right, I need you to leave a like if you've never seen these before. If you've never seen these, come on. You gotta go down and give me a like. This right here is gonna be the Wolverine Camo Dunk. I mean, first off, have you ever seen Wolverine on a Nike SB? No, I haven't. And it's authorized by Nike too. I think this was an older one, quite older actually. 2008 for this pair right here is the production date. Literally the Wolverine slashes on the side. It says Nike on it with the Wolverine slashes on the tongue. There's no Nike SB logo, which I think gets a lot of people confused because they think, oh, well then they're not a Nike SB, but every indication comes from the bottom on that. What do you think of the Wolverines? Is this a shoe you'd rock if you're a Wolverine fan? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, we got the next one and it's a teal one. Let's keep it going. Are we gonna switch it up? Are we gonna switch it up? I mean, it's a dunk, but is it gonna be a dunk we haven't seen? I think so. Let's go ahead and check it out. I think this is a Nike. Oh, actually, bro. This is not a Space Jam or Concord dunk like I thought it was gonna be. This is one that I had. Whoa, I had these way back in the day. I'm getting thrown back right now. What are these called? They're called like the Game Royals. The, yeah, the Game Royal, that's what they're called. I literally had these back in the day, size like 10 and a half. They were so big on me, but I tried so hard to wear them. All right, never showed this on my channel before. This is a size 10C. Oh man, 
I, I'm worried right now. I'm worried right now. Whoever's baby your child is going to be stepping in me. You better watch out. <laughs> Sheesh! When you come across a good Air Jordan 4, it's tough to let it go. It's also tough to let it go when you don't have it. And it's also tough to let it go when it's your size. And it's tough to let it go when you've been on the hunt for it specifically and you can never find a good deal, but you happen to find a good deal because they're used. And they're size nine and a half, which you know I'm gonna be scooping for the collection. <laughs> Minus ten dollars. Actually, they got airtime, so I'd give that a. They were in a trick shot video. <laughs> all right, Air Force One Low Premium. What do we got? Oh, we got some premium. All right. Oh, we got some premium. I think these are the DJ Clark Kents, if I'm not mistaken. Certificate of Authenticity from Nike. They are brand new. It's a. I think it's like a twenty. These are two thousand nine. Style code is three one eight seven seven five two two one. The materials on here are absolutely wild. I mean, what looks like to be ostrich premium leather leather that you definitely don't see in a today air force you've also got whoa that's like alcantara on the side that's like the best way to describe it. if you've ever felt like a mercedes steering wheel or something with alcantara on it um and then there's the inside mesh which you guys already know what i'm gonna say not eclair it's not eclair actually it's some sort of regular air force mesh and then there's like uh inside graphic as well hey i'm gonna do my best to try and get the insole for y'all could you see yourself rocking this shoe because i definitely could in the right outfit i gotta have on some tackier olive pants you know to set the vibe right what could be in here it's gonna be it's going to be wow this one actually has a flight club tag on it an air force one low premium does it have the flight club price tag on it no it does not but that's really cool i'd almost say it's like a souvenir it doesn't add value it's just like oh it came from flight club you overpaid well for the store i couldn't do you guys dirty i had to get you an 11 and a half in the metallic purple they are pre-owned so you know they're gonna get shown the pre-loved price and i don't know who would throw in a Foot Locker discount save 25 percent on your next purchase well hey if this is valid you go ahead bro in the chat hey hopefully it's not expired i don't know i'm just throwing it in chat we got a pair of the metallic gold olympic dunks we've actually got quite a few pairs of these but this one has a box and as you can see it shares the air force and dunk box very cool love this pair hard to find now all right y'all gosh we really really went in on these huh lebron premium air force and then it's going to be, oh, these are personal. I got these at a store. Uh, yeah, the Jewel Air Force NYC. Kind of looks like Yankee pinstripes on the inside there, which I thought was pretty cool. I think this is also uh, the subway lines, the five and the four, and then the six. So just showing some love to NYC. I think that's really, really cool. Definitely a shoe you don't see often. All right, now I gotta show my man, Mr. Bay Pipe Man, some love. My man sent me another care package. And guys, we gotta open it. It's only right we show the man, Mr. Eric, some love. So everybody in the chat, give a big W to Eric. Oh my gosh, no way, bro. Dude, no way he sent me these, bro. What? Oh, snap. That could only really mean... Wait, dude, no way. Oh my god, he went crazy, bro. Right off the bat, we've got some good Pokemon channel content, which, bro, I'm so grateful. I'm just going to throw these up on Pokemon, and I want everybody to go check that out. Link in the description below to check out our Pokemon channel, Blazing Air Pokemon. We're so close to 20k subs. If y'all can get us to 20k subs, we'll get us a Yeezy giveaway. Just get this video also to 2,500 likes. Really support your boy. But, Eric, bro, what did you send me, dog? I'm, like, a little nervous right now because I think I know exactly what this is. Oh, no way, dude. He sent me the custom Pokemon Babestas. Right here, we got the Squirtle Edition. Yo, these are crazy. They got the Pokemon insole as well. Squirtle embroidery on the side. Dude, these are absolutely insane, bro. Wait, you're nuts. Nah, don't tell me because there's the other two. They got to be the other starters, dog. The Charmanders? What? Dude, these go crazy. The yellow Bapesta star. I think these are customs. Like, somebody takes the Bapesta, and then they customize them. I'm not sure the brand that does it, because it comes in a, a bait box. It's MMCsta. So, the MCs. So, these are the MC customs. So, whoever MC is, bro, did a great job. Fire emblem on the back. Wow. These gotta be what? The Bulbasaurs? Yeah. Yeah, of course, man. Wow. This one also just absolutely incredible work. The custom looks 
so good. I'm sure the materials are also really, really nice. Dude, thank you so much, Mr. Bay Pipe Man. Bro, I gotta send you a care package now. And you guys have been patient. You guys have been waiting. Blaze, Blaze, you bought another pair. You bought another pair. Yo, I don't know if you've heard me say it earlier this video, you guys gotta listen to my key bullet points. And I think when Kanye releases his documentary, I think personally these might see an increase in value. If I think correctly, the movie and the documentary will help these raise the value of the Red Octobers. I went ahead and found a really, really clean pair on the internet. Red October, you guys know all about these. What I think is super cool is not only does it have a very intact box, like I've had some boxes of Red Octobers that were destroyed, like we have an example. And this pair also has the dust box and the aglets, which is also very hard to find, the extra aglets as well. They have all of them on the shoe and the dust bag, which like I said, for these is just super hard to get nowadays, literally all eight tips. And here's an example of my personal Red October box. I have three pairs now. This is my third pair of Red Octobers. And here is what my other box looks like. So like I said, it's a pure speculative play. I kind of paid well over what I paid for my two original Red Octobers. My both original Red Octobers, I paid about 2,300 bucks for combined. And this pair right here ended up being about 7K with the cost of everything. So I have to do a little bit of cleaning. I'm thinking about getting them professionally sent off. As you guys can see, there's a little bit of a dirt stain on there right there, as well as some of the inside triangles. I bet you if somebody just grabs a Q-tip and the right cleaning material, you can really get in there and do some good damage. I'm trying to get back on my YouTube grind and show y'all that I'm really here as a creator again. I was working so hard on my business the past couple months that I got lost in the sauce, y'all, which traveling and these pickup videos are something I love to do. So I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. And your boy Blaze Network, we're signing out. Stay positive, guys, and let me know what you think in the comments. Peace. All right, y'all want the difference between a size 16 and a seven and a half? Here you go. Absolute insanity. This is a literal, let's see if we can get the tag in there. US 16.